China has recorded 2,000 to 3,000 new cases every day for the past week. The country's zero COVID policy has resulted in the population having a naive immune profile because their exposure to different variants has been less compared to the rest of the world. This will give the virus many chances to mutate. Barring China, the United States, Korea, Brazil and Japan were also listed as countries recording a surge in COVID-19. On 20th December, the Union Health Ministry urged state governments to ramp up genome sequencing efforts for all positive test results. Wearing masks and increasing booster uptake is advisable. No guidelines have been changed for international travel as yet. China continues to strengthen genome monitoring, but over the coming three months, 60% of China's population is expected to get infected with COVID-19, experts believe. As per local reports, Omicron subvariant BF.7, which is not unique to China, is driving up the caseload in the geography. According to Vinod Skarya, China has been an outlier on two key factors, immunity profile and human mindset, given their strict approach until now. Use of poor vaccines along with waning immunity are not a strong defense against the extreme immune-evasive Omicron and its sublineages. This is allowing the virus to spread uncontrollably in a susceptible and aging population. But since the virus is circulating in a vulnerable population in China, the variant to emerge out of there may not have the same fitness against hosts with prior infection from other variants of Omicron. Having said that, human-animal interaction is high in China. The virus can easily jump to animals, mutate further in ways we can't predict right now, and come back into humans. A One Health approach, which recognizes the interconnection between people, animals, plants, and their shared environment, is needed to tackle the current situation efficiently. Models have estimated 1 million COVID deaths in the wake of the country giving up its zero COVID policy. However, its National Health Commission made it clear on 20th December that only those dying of respiratory failures will be counted as COVID deaths, excluding anyone with comorbidities who succumbs to the virus.